the giggle is nothing but masking their own discomfort. If I were to randomly without warning poke a gun in your face and threaten you that I'm going to shoot you, perhaps your first and immediate response is, <laughs> what do you mean? But that there is that nervous laughter which is masking the fear. I don't want to show my fear right away, so my instinctive response is to mask it by giggling or there's that nervous laughter. It's pretty much the same with these kind of unspoken glances. Um, I go into a restaurant with a bunch of my colleagues. There is a waiter who is a tad effeminate and when he comes to serve at our table, there are those glances people give each other and there are those muted giggles. It's basically that the person is picking up that there's something different from them in the other person and they are picking it up to be related to sexuality and because they don't recognize it as the way they are, there's a great discomfort because they've come, they're face to face, they're confronting what they are different from and that makes them uncomfortable and it is that discomfort which plays out in the giggle in the nervous laughter in the jokes there are some pretty insensitive jokes that go around um, you know if we just flip the world around for a minute in our own heads and if we were to think that the world was a place where what is seen in majority are homosexual relationships and if heterosexual relationships were the minority and if I were a heterosexual and I'm at the receiving end of those kind of jokes, insensitive jokes, sometimes some of them are outright crude jokes, how would you feel? I think it's important for us to put ourselves in the other person's shoes and to recognize that the world is filled with people who are different. In this world of six billion people, no two people are the same. No two people are even alike. Your thumb is fatter than mine. My, I'm taller than someone else. My nose is thicker than somebody else's. That is how each of us are. So if we can recognize that, yes, in terms of sexual expression, that person and I are different, but end of the day, both of us know what happiness is. Happiness is the same to you and happiness is the same to me. Can we, again, bottom line is, can we see them as a fellow human being and just respect them for that? When I change that attitude, when I embrace that attitude, I don't find it uncomfortable. Therefore, I will not feel the need for that silly giggle. So it's, it all starts at an attitudinal change which then translates into respect and dignity for everyone.